I am doing this video in response to a post I saw on the wall of uh, a Noane cultural forum. And uh, the post reads, in Igbo land, we don't buy two bars of yam to celebrate Iwaji, that is their new yam festival. In fact, the planting season is heralded by a festival known as Ilochi, Asho, or Aho, an annual prayer for fruitful farming season. Well, uh, I wasn't uh, attracted to the beginning of the post, but the later part of the post, towards the ending, where I saw I saw Ilochi and uh, Asho and Aho, and uh, there was equally a post or rather a comment that was attributed to one Iseluku guy claiming that uh, that aspect of their culture originated from Benin. That is a cultural practice from Benin Kingdom. And the comment reads, one Iseluku guy said Ilochi and Ilomo are Benin culture. I felt like crying. That is one of the comments that was dropped on the comment section, you know? And the guy replied by saying, what is his name? Well, in response to this post, the Iseluku guy that commented on the comment section by saying that Ilochi or Ilomo is a cultural practice of the Bini people, he didn't say anything wrong. What he said is the actual truth in its sense. In Bini culture, we call it Agwe or Ilonu. Ilonu literally means the ceiling of the mouth. So when you're performing Ilonu, you are not expected to eat or to talk much or even to attend to issues. It is a period of fasting and prayer that we, the Bene, also called Agwe. Not Igwe. Igwe is different from Agwe. Igwe is heard in December. Why Agwe is usually heard in January. Agwe is a period of fasting and prayer to God and ancestors before the farming uh, um, activities begins. All right? It is a ritual performed by the nobles, the landlords and landladies, patriarchs and matriarchs, you know, chiefs, and of course, the Oba of Benin, it is done to purify, to sanctify the every household and the land of any negative energy that may have followed us into this new year. Agwe and Ilonu is usually followed by a Moro festival, otherwise known as a New Year festival. Very many of you still believe that Benin do not celebrate New Year Festival. Although I have done the video on that, it will be posted on Monday. So in that video, you will see how New Year Festival originated from Benin and how we have been practicing it. All right, let me not deviate from the subject matter. Back to Agwe and Ilonu. It was actually stopped during the reign of Oba Ovorame in 1897 after the British conquered Benin. So most of our cultural practices, you know, have been docile due to certain reasons. 
But just recently, Oba Airway reenacted and of course reintroduced this aspect of our culture. So that is why it seems new to most of you. I had an interview with a high ranking chief of Benin Kingdom, Chief Osaro Ida, the Oba Zelu of Benin Kingdom. The video is attached to this video. You would hear him how he explicitly explained what Agwe and Ilonu means in Benin custom and tradition. Take your time to listen carefully. Although the video is equally subtitled, so for those of us who do not understand Edo language, just read through the subtitle on the screen. <laughs> Muslim, <laughs> I <laughs> So I guess you heard the last part of the video that it is after this Omanagwe or Agwe rituals that 
New Year festival now comes in. So it is after this Agwe that we now celebrate Emoro, otherwise known as New, New Year festival. So the fact is that most of these cultural practices were actually introduced to you people in the eastern part of Nigeria by people who migrated from Benin Kingdom. There is no history of migration recorded by every other persons who migrated from the east into Benin Kingdom. Benin had several waves of migration, either by way of uh, 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 internal or civil unrest, war, or as a result of an uh, uh, iron-fisted rulership of any of these past orbers. So most people seem feel uncomfortable with their draconian you know, style of rulership and they decide to leave. So majority and uh, this mass exodus actually happened severally in Benin. Don't also forget that this eastern part of our present Nigeria has monarchs who are Benin descents. That is a simple fact. So don't also forget that there is every possibility of this monarch introducing these cultural practices to you people. Because monarchs and traditional rulers are the custodian of culture. So a lot of our cultural practices were introduced to this eastern part of Nigeria. Over 95% of the monarchs or traditional rulers in the eastern part of Nigeria are Benin princes. They were installed by the Oba of Benin. So there is every possibility that those cultural practices were introduced to you people. So not the other way around. Because this area were sovereignty of the Oba of Benin. So they were under the rulership of the Oba of Benin. So they dictate what happens in these areas. So for anyone to say that Benin actually copied these cultural practices from there is laughable. So the exclusive video I did on um, New Year Festival, Emoro, and uh, the four days of the week or the four market days will be coming next week. These two videos are a tsunami. Okay, so you get to understand how a Moro festival started in, in Benin Kingdom. And of course, the four market days that the Igbos are laying claim to, you will see how the Benins, how we operate the four market days, and how these four market days were designed. You know by the Benin ancestors. So thank you very much and God bless you.